Hello friends, it's Julia Simpson, Kia Baby's brand spokesperson. I am so happy to be back with you again for another Amazon Live. I don't know if you can tell by looking at me or by looking around, but let me tell you, it has been quite a week. Um, I am in full on messy bun, not changing out of my sweats. Um, I'm in sweatpants that you can't see covered in dog hair. That's the mode I'm in right now. I did put on a little bit of makeup for you guys because uh, I wanted to feel somewhat human before I jumped on here. Um, is it working? Questionable. <laughs> um, and as you can see, if you have joined us before, of course, I'm not in my usual setup. I am smooshed into a tiny little corner of my daughter Sophia's nursery. Um, we are doing some home improvement stuff on our basement area, which is where my typical setup is, where I have my nice display table and all my cutesy stuff. So today I am flying by the seat of my pants um, <laughs> to scramble to get this little display set up for you guys. But hey, at least you can see everything. Um, and as you can see, I have a ton of stuff to talk to you about and share with you. And I'm actually really excited about it. it thinking about it is perking me up uh, because these products are products I've been using with my daughter. I love them. Um, they have made life so much easier. I know you guys are going to love them. Um, and I'm just really excited to share them with you. Um, what else do we have going on? Uh, so my daughter, Sophia, is currently in the trenches of teething. Um, she has two little bottom teeth already, and then she is getting her two little top teeth. So lots of disturbed sleep in our house. Teething is a big sleep disruptor for lots of babies. Um, lots of irritability, crankiness, never knowing kind of what mood she's going to be in from one moment to the next, which honestly isn't that different for her. Um, <laughs> Uh, what else? The, probably the biggest thing though is that she is constantly chewing, constantly drooling. Um, and the big issue with that is that whenever there is moisture kind of constantly coming in contact with baby skin, especially on the face, under here, under the chin, and these folds at the neck, um, it causes rashes. So I don't know if you, any of you have been through that with your babies already. If you haven't, just know that it's coming. It's one of those unfortunate parts of growing teeth. Um, so yeah, Sophia's kind of constantly got dry, cracked, irritated skin on her face. Um, but luckily I have had on hand a Kia Babies product that, um, has really been keeping her nice and dry, uh, and has really, really helped eliminate that problem. Thank you, Kia Babies. Um, what am I talking about? The Kia Babies bandana bib. Um, so obviously I have a bunch to show you here. I'm going to go over the color and pattern options, just talk a little bit about it. Um, but I did want to just open up this package here really quickly um, and go over what you can expect when you order from the brand. And there are always little goodies inside that I love to share with you. So let's just do that part really quickly. Uh, the color uh, that I'm holding here is grayscape, starting with this one because it's a nice neutral unisex palette and pattern. Um, and I just think this is going to probably be universal universally use, usable and useful um, for most of you watching. So let's uh, we'll take a look at the front. So bandana bibs, got the Kia Babies logo. I always like to point out on the back of the box, this is where you can reach us on social media. We love to connect with you guys. So please give us a follow on Facebook, um, YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest. If you are not currently following us on Instagram, at Kia Babies, please head on over there. We do tons of fun giveaways, um, and it's just a great way to connect with other moms and connect with the brand, and we just really love to see you over there. Um, so moving on, let's go ahead and open this up. Now, these packages always come with a few cute little inserts for you. Here's a Kia Babies bookmark. Um, and there's always a free gift as a thank you for shopping with the brand. I'm not going to spoil what the gift is, but just please don't throw this out. Take advantage of it. There's a link for you to redeem. And there's also a super convenient QR code for you to scan. Um, so I hate for that, that stuff to kind of get lost and get tossed in the trash um, when it's just really a token of our appreciation to you for shopping with us. All right, so let's pull these babies out. Again, I've got gray scape. So we've got this nice neutral bandana bib here in the black and white geometric shapes. We've got the stars and the stripes in gray and white here. Love this. This fun little pattern, I think this is probably going to be a favorite for me with um, a bunch of Sophia's outfits. I dress her in a lot of neutrals. It's just a way to like kind of make it fun and switch it up. We've got leaves here. Cool webbed pattern clouds in this nice kind of army olive green almost. Um, it's like a gray green. I think this is going to be another favorite. Cutesy gray and white arrows and stars. 
So this is our Grayscape package and I cannot pull these out and like touch them without commenting on how freaking soft these are. Um, this honestly just feels like butter. Uh, I would use this as a pillowcase. Um, why this is really, really nice, obviously you want these to be super soft because they are coming in contact with baby skin, especially the really delicate areas, the face, the neck, um, like we just talked about. They're gonna stay on all day, um, lots of rubbing. You don't want any chafing or irritation and Sophia has experienced none of that with these bibs, um, which has not been the case with some like terry cloth and other, other types of bandana bibs that we've used in the past. Um, so these are made of uh, organic cotton on the front side and then it is reinforced on the inside with premium fleece. So what does that mean? It's super, super absorbent. There's like two layers of material here that is gonna just soak everything in, uh, keep it nice and contained, and it's going to keep baby's outfit and skin underneath perfectly, perfectly dry. Um, this is also a really good kind of teething tool um, because as I said, Sophia is constantly chewing and she does have those like little handheld teether things. Um, but honestly, those are getting tossed all over the place. They're always getting lost. Um, she is literally feeding them to the dogs and the dogs are turning them into chew toys. Um, so this is something that can stay around her neck you know, all day long and I always know where it is and she just likes to pick up the corner and kind of chew on this. It's nice and chewy and plush, um, nice and soft and plush for her to chew on. So that's been super nice. It's like a nice comfort item for her. Um, it is also a source of endless entertainment. Her favorite thing to do right now is to play peekaboo. So she will pick one corner of this up and kind of do this and we say, where's Sophia? And then she likes to pull it down and peekaboo. So endless uses for these babies. Um, I want to talk about these snaps here. It's got double snaps in the back. Um, why that is super, super useful is that it means it is adjustable in three sizes. So if you need a super snug fit, it's called the narrow fit. That's going to be good for a newborn with a tiny little neck. You're going to take the back snap here and snap it in the back snap here, right? So don't worry, this is not rocket science. You guys will be able to figure this out. Um, so that's going to be the snuggest fit. And let me just show you on my little stand-in baby right here how that would look. This is the narrow fit. See how there's not a lot of gap here? This is nice and snug around Bear's neck. So again, that would be for newborns. Then you've got the normal size. Um, so this is what my 10 month old uh, wears and that's gonna be for like your bigger infants kind of out of that fourth trimester stage. And so you're just going to snap like to like, like that. See, so I'll show you that on there. Thank you for participating today, Bear. Really appreciate it. So just a little more give, as you can see, a little bit of gap there because obviously a larger infant's gonna have a slightly larger neck and shoulder area. And then finally, you can put it on the widest setting, which is this last one here to the last one here. Boom, and this is going to be um, what you would put on a toddler. So I'll show you that on bear really quick. And these bibs do um, fit sizes zero to 36 months and you can see how much space there is there. Um, now you might be asking yourself, is my toddler still going to be wearing bibs? And the answer is yep. <laughs> um, the teething process really does not end until between um, 25 and 33 months. And that's just an average. Of course, there's lots of variation on that. Um, you know, what's normal for one baby is not necessarily gonna be normal for your baby. Um, so try not to compare, but basically what I'm getting at is that you can expect um, drooling and chewing and also for some babies, um, some extra spitting up during the teething process for a long time to come. So I want you to think of these as a, a long-term use item. Um, and that's why it is so, so great um, that they are size adjustable. Okay, so one last thing about the snaps that is very, very important in our household. Um, these, as you can see, they're metal snaps. They are nickel free. Um, why is that important? So um, that means they're hypoallergenic essentially. Um, and this is so important for babies with sensitive skin as Sophia has. Um, 
I actually have a nickel allergy. We're not sure um, if Sophia does, but it is a fairly common um, sensitivity that babies and toddlers have. Um, and nickel is just a very common irritant in general. So even lots of adults are unable to wear jewelry that contains nickel, um, particularly necklaces and earrings. Um, and of course, this is something that's gonna be touching baby skin all the time. So that was a really, really great um, insight that Kia babies had. And I love that they kept that in mind um, when they were designing this, so, so important. Um, and I said that was the last thing about snaps, but just adding in really quickly, um, the snaps are absolutely the way to go. I don't know if you've used Velcro um, in the past, but let me tell you, it gets so, so icky after a few washes. Like see all that crud that's in there and it just doesn't stick anymore. Um, Sophia was able to just pull these off, no problem. And then I would find them in strange places like dog bowls. Um, see how easy that is. I'm gonna show you how durable these snaps are. I can tug and tug and tug and I'm not getting that off. So absolutely snaps are the way to go. And that's why it's so important that these are hypoallergenic. So let me just tell you um, how much time this has saved on laundry, bleh, right? Like I am not a laundry person. Um, I'm probably doing three times the amount of laundry I've ever done since I had a baby. Babies are messy. Um, and not only has have these cut down on uh, the amount of bib washing I've had to do, but um, just the amount of like clothes washing I've had to do. Um, because just one of these is going to last a baby an entire day because they are so absorbent. So yes, one of these is going to last you a good 12 hours. Um, I almost compare the absorbency to like an overnight diaper, which we put Sophia in at night. Um, I wake up the next morning and her diaper is full, but her skin is nice and dry. And I feel the same way about these. She can drool and chew to her heart's content. She can spill her milk and her water all over these. Um, and it just absorbs so quickly. The bib, the outside of the bib here um, and the inside that's touching her stays nice and dry and her outfit underneath stays nice and dry and her skin here stays nice and dry. Um, so obviously I can't demonstrate that for you through the screen, but take my word for it. One of these is going to last you an entire day. So you're not going to be like switching out five or six of these. Um, you're not going to be switching out outfits constantly, um, which is amazing, right? Cause who has time for that? Um, I wanted to show you really quickly, um, how I style these with a couple of Sophia's outfits. Um, because in addition to being just a useful tool for baby um, or your toddler, they also are super stylish and they make a really cool fashion statement, right? Um, I think this would be especially great for toddlers who, I know you've been at the grocery store and you've seen some of the creative ensembles that toddlers come up with as they start asserting more of their independence and deciding what they want to wear for themselves. This is a really great way for them to kind of show some of their personality and creativity. And you know, if you're going through that struggle of your toddlers wanting to leave the house and like, a tutu and galoshes and crazy stuff. Maybe you could pick out their outfit for the day and where they get to have a little bit of control is they could pick out like their coordinating bib, right? So I just think that's super fun. Um, and we have definitely been using them um, for photo ops with Sophia because they are so stinking cute. Um, so let me just show you uh, two of my favorite ways to style it really quickly. Um, so whenever Sophia is doing like a nice um, neutral subdued um, pattern or color here, I just like to stay in that same color palette, but just enhance it a little bit. Um, and so this is from the Pink Dream Collection, and I will show you all of the colors um, in just one second, but here's how I add a little flair to something super simple like that. Um, so even if she's wearing something that is a little bit busier, like see this is a very busy pattern, but it's a very neutral color scheme. I like to just go full tilt with it and add a little pop and make her a little wild like boho baby. Um, so these are so super fun. This is actually a limited edition print for the summer. I'm gonna go over that at the very end of this video and I will of course um, show you guys all of these. I've got some hanging back here. And of course, all of the options are uh, available to you, uh, colors and patterns, things like that. It's always browsable at the bottom, just below this video. And shopping is as easy as clicking add to cart. Um, so please keep that in mind. And uh, it's a super convenient way for you guys to shop. Okay, so I wanted to show you that. Um, let's go through the other colors. So the sets that I've got here, um, so this is Pink Dream. And the other patterns we have in that set are right here nice neutral included with these as well. Uh, what I've got here is Constellation, which also includes these guys. And I just love um, that these are nice and neutral for the most part. Um, of course, Pink Dream is pretty girly. 
Um, but nice and unisex as well. Oh, I love that. Um, oh, I'm putting that on Sophia today. Um, because I think it makes it a really great baby shower gift. So if you didn't know the sex of the baby, um, or even if you're not really sure what mom's taste is, um, these are going to be just like really universally um, liked. So you really can't go wrong um, with Constellation or Grayscape, um, the one that I unboxed for you guys. Um, and then down here we've got Sweet Charm, which is some more girly pinks and florals. Um, love that one. And I'll show you the remaining bibs in this set. Love that with the clouds. So cute. And then the one I styled earlier, this like boho floral one adorable so yes we do have limited edition colors um, for the summer so if you see something you like please guys jump on this um, let me just show you I'm obsessed with these if you want a little pop of color and a little bit of fun uh, we've got uh, pretzels here soft pretzels cupcakes ah so summery and ice cream cones donuts appropriately this set is called sweet treats and I'll show you the rest really quickly. We've got some macarons, little beverages, churros, and some key lime pie and lemon meringue pie. How fun and summery and bright and cheery are these? Um, so this is limited edition for the summer. Please jump on that. Remember, you can browse down below and you can shop right here on Amazon. Um, and this pack is called Sweet Treat. So didn't want to move on without sharing that with you guys. Um, yeah, I love these bibs. Love, love, love them. Um, they have over 3,000 reviews on Amazon, as you can see here, if you want to browse. Um, so lots and lots of satisfied parents. Um, I know you guys are going to be satisfied as well. I certainly am. Uh, these come in an eight pack and uh, care instructions. They are machine washable on cold. Huh, yes, thank you. Um, you can also tumble them dry on low heat. And I'm telling you, I don't buy anything for baby these days um, that I can't just throw in the washer with the rest of her laundry because ain't nobody got time for that. So I love the convenience factor of that. Um, nice and easy to clean. Uh, before I leave you and move on to our organic burp cloths, um, I will give you my top three teething tips since we are kind of on the subject of teething. Um, so first of all, keep baby's face as dry as possible. And that's where these bandana bibs are going to come in handy, right? They are going to be your number one go-to for that. Um, and use a skin protectant, something like Aquaphor or a petrolatum product like Vaseline um, to kind of make a barrier on the skin and um, help bring down any inflammation that might be there. Um, second, cold teethers. So we love um, these little silicone teethers that you put in the freezer. And if your baby can grasp things, which I'm imagining they can since they're in the teething stage, um, baby can hold onto it themselves and chew. Uh, in a pinch, you can also use some frozen fruit or veggies in a durable plastic bag like a Ziploc. Um, just make sure if you're letting baby chew on it that you are supervising 100% of the time or otherwise just as baby gets fussy and might be chewing or rubbing on the gums and you think they're uncomfortable, you can just make that DIY ice pack and hold to the gums uh, for a few moments a few times a day um, just as needed. So that's a, a nice hack if you don't have the frozen teethers. And then my third tip is just lots and lots of snuggles. Um, you know, close to you is the best medicine when baby is not feeling well. Babies do get extra clingy during the teething stage because they're generally not feeling well and it also tends to coincide with the separation anxiety stage. Um, so if you can do some baby wearing, um, we do have a baby wrap carrier here at Kia Babies, something like that is going to be your best friend um, during this phase. So there you go. Those are my top three teething tips and of course number one on that list is to pick up the Kia Babies bandana bibs. All right so let's move on to the organic burp cloths. All right. So we, we know, um, what burp cloths are for, right? Um, little babies in the first three to four months, um, they are drinking from a bottle or they are drinking from the breast. If they're on an all liquid diet, they're sucking constantly. So they get a lot of trapped air and sometimes they need help expressing that. And so it's very, very important to burp small babies. Um, of course I have a 10 month old who's now eating solids in addition to taking her formula and her milk. Um, so we're past the burping phase, but I still love having burp cloths around because they are just great, um, for cleaning up the spit up that often comes with teething again, for cleaning up the drool and just general messes. Um, like when Sophia, you know, is spilling her sippy cup, she's starting to learn to drink from a cup. Um, they're just really convenient to have on hand, um, to use 
as a towel. Um, so these have been really, really great for that. Um, uh, what I have displayed here is the limited edition set in Sweet Treat um, because I want to make sure that you guys know that you have to move on these quickly if you want to get your hands on them. Um, remember, you can shop down below. Uh, but also, the sets of Burke cloths, they are all coordinated to the bibs that I just showed you. So let me give you an example. So Gray Scape, remember this bib right here? It shows up again in the burp cloth so this makes a great set if you want to have matchy matchy stuff for yourself which i always think is super super cute and just makes you look and feel nice and put together but also makes a great gift set um, for any expecting mama that you might know um, so we've got grayscape here i'll show you these remember the stars go the arrows and then of course the little Kia babies Kia bird logo which I'm obsessed with I think he's adorable um, let's see so the pink dream set is currently out of stock um, but you can go to the Kia babies website and take a look at what that looks like again it's gonna be coordinated to these bibs here I do have constellation so we've got some stars and planets our little Kia babies Kia bird some stars constellation very appropriately named and then we've got this cutie guy here and then the sweet charm which might be my favorite we've got this guy this guy pink polka dots little pink ruffle pattern and our boho floral. So this is the one I'm actually gonna use for my example because I'm partial to it. I think it's so, so cute. Um, so these babies are, if it's possible, even softer and even more absorbent than the bibs that we just talked about. Um, so they are made of a three layer material. Um, so you've got the organic cotton front and back and then inside, um, as you can feel, oh, so plush and nice. That's where you've got that premium fleece. So. This is going to stand up to a whole lot of spit up, which is kind of just par for the course um, when <laughs> you are burping a baby. Um, what I love about these is that they have been perfectly sized for shoulder coverage. Uh, they're 21 inches by 10 and a half inches, um, and they feature this cool figure eight kind of design. Um, which means that the weight on your shoulder is going to be evenly distributed. So what do I mean by that? Um, so first of all, it hugs this natural contour really nicely. It doesn't hang off of the shoulder, which means as you're fidgeting around with baby, it's going to stay put and you're not going to be struggling with this. It's not going to be falling off, slipping off, which is so, so important. Um, but also, so it kind of flares out here so that the two heaviest parts of baby, the noggin, and the bum are supported by the two larger you know areas of your body your shoulder blade back here um, and your chest so there's a lot of real estate for baby um, to be nicely snuggled and to stay nice and comfy which is going to make the whole burping experience so much easier for you um, these come in a five pack and uh, I just showed you all of the colors and patterns that I have so I just want to remind you again um, that we have sweet charm here um, we are out of Pink Dream at the moment, but you can browse that on the Kia Babies website. We've got Constellation. Um, I've got Grayscape right here. And then our limited edition print for the summer. Um, down here, we've got the Sweet Treats. Um, so, huh. Before I leave you, um, I wanted to share some burping methods and tips with you um, because, man, was feeding and burping and all of that a real struggle for us with our daughter Sophia in the beginning. Um, please use whichever methods work best for you and your baby. You are the expert on your own child, of course. Um, and while spit up and tummy aches are an unfortunate uh, part of the burping process, it's just a fact of life for newborns, it is very normal. If you ever feel like anything, any discomfort or any spitting up is excessive, please talk to your pediatrician. Um, our daughter actually was uh, diagnosed with acid reflux and she never quite met the criteria for medication, but it was a really rough go for us uh, for several months there. And uh, it was just nice to have our doctors kind of reassurance and support through that whole process and to know that we weren't ignoring anything. So I have to put that out there um, and then let's get to it. So burping, got my handy dandy burp cloth here. 
So this is the method that we're all most familiar with. It gets the job done. It's just this simple over the shoulder thing. So this is how you'd wear your burp cloth and you're just going to drape maybe over the shoulder and give nice firm pats between the shoulder blades. Um, this is great for newborns, uh, bigger babies too, um, and it's, it's gonna get the job done. Not a lot of bells and whistles there. Um, if you have a super kind of like wiggly squiggly baby or an older baby who is becoming more active and they don't wanna be in that resting position, which sounds a lot like my daughter, Sophia, um, you can do the tummy time burp. So I'll just get up on my knees here. So here I'm gonna drape this across this leg right here. I set baby down here and I support at the chin. Um, I know it looks and it may feel a little bit awkward, but don't worry, you're not hurting baby. You know, don't apply too much pressure, just gently rest baby here um, so that they can be in an upright sitting position. They can even kind of look around. And again, you're gonna give those firm pats between the shoulder blades. Um, so that is a good second option for you there. And you know, sometimes to get a burp out, you're just gonna have to like experiment and change it up. Um, there is a third option. So if baby is still super fussy and seems like they're still really struggling, um, it could mean that um, they have some trapped air that needs to come out both ends. Um, so for situations like that, uh, you're going to use the um, on the tummy. Oh, I, did I just call this the tummy time burp? Sorry, I, this is the sitting up position. Um, you're gonna use the tummy time burp for this. So um, I would leave the burp cloth here on this leg and you drape baby over some firm pressure on their bottom to make sure they're not going anywhere, they're staying put. Um, and what you're gonna do is kind of pat and rub um, from the bum here up to the shoulder blades. Um, so you are more likely to get spit up um, with this burping method, uh, but that is okay because obviously you are covered with your burp cloth here. Um, you're also more likely to get not just burps, but some toots. Um, so be prepared for that, but it's going to make baby feel so much more comfortable. So this is always a good one to try. And then um, a final tip right from our pediatrician, if you do have a baby that is diagnosed with acid reflux, as we were, um, there is a fourth method that is advisable. Um, so those babies, because they produce uh, extra acid in their stomach, um, spit up can be painful for them. So when it comes up the esophagus, it, it burns um, and it's very uncomfortable. So while spit up is normal, for those babies, you want to try to minimize it as much as possible. You wanna get the air out, um, but you don't want them spitting up if you can help it. Um, and so that padding motion, for babies that don't have acid reflux, that jostling um, that can sometimes bring spit up with it is totally fine. Um, but for acid reflux babies, you actually wanna hold them completely upright, firmly against your body, even you know, straighten their legs out, hold them in a straight line all the way down, almost like they have a rod from the top of their head all the way down. Um, and you're, going, you're not going to pat because you don't want to jostle them, but you're going to apply some firm pressure and kind of massage from the top of the booty, the base of the spine, up to in between the shoulder blades. And it's definitely going to take longer to get a burp out. Sometimes you'll never get a burp out, um, but eventually, you know, you will feel baby start to relax um, and kind of feel them untense their muscles a little bit. And then you'll know that the discomfort is probably passed and they're probably good. So don't worry if you, if you don't get air out. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got for you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you see something that you like. Um, please, please, of course, follow us on social media and follow us here on Amazon so that you never miss an Amazon live. Thank you for hanging out with me in my makeshift space here um, and for sticking around. I am going to sign off until the next time. Take care, friends.